We are going to steal. <laughs> wait, wait! I haven't told you what it is yet. Oh, classic. Welcome to Learn English with Pixar. I take lines from popular movies to help us learn English. Now, Pixar movies in particular feature characters that have American accents and also use American style phrasing, which makes it the perfect tool for you intermediate and advanced learners trying to get more comfortable talking to other native English speakers. Oh yeah! So today we are going to use some lines from yeah. Despicable Me and yeah. learn how we can use them in our daily conversations. Let's take a look. Yeah, all right. Simmer down. Simmer down. Thank you. Okay. In this clip, Gru tells the minions to simmer down. Telling a group of people to simmer down is basically a nicer, fun way to say quiet down or be quiet. For example, a teacher might tell their class to simmer down, or you might say this to a group of people or an audience right before you're about to make an announcement, similar to the way Gru just did. All right, simmer down, simmer down. Thank you, okay. You really can only use this phrase if you're in front of a group of people and you want them to be quiet so you can make an announcement. This is really the only situation you can use this phrase. But it's just good to know in case an MC or a host of an event tells you to simmer down, you know what they're talking about. One cool way to help you remember this phrase, think of a crowd of people like water. When water is going crazy like this, it's called boiling. When you turn it down to a light boil, it's called a simmer or simmering. Same concept. But am I upset? No, I am not. A little, but we have had a pretty good year ourselves. And you guys are all right in my book. <laughs> in this next clip, Gru tells the minions, you're all right in my book. We have had a pretty good year ourselves. And you guys are all right in my book. <laughs> the phrase in my book is the same as saying in my opinion, or as far as I'm concerned. For example, she did a great job in my book. She did a great job in my book. It's the same as saying, she did a great job in my opinion, or she did a great job as far as I'm concerned. So this is a good phrase you can use if you have a simple opinion about somebody or about something that person did. So for example, you can say, he's an honest guy in my book, or she's a top athlete in my book, or as Gru would say, you guys are all right in my book. Now I realize that you guys have probably heard about this other villain who stole the pyramids. Apparently it's a big deal. People are calling it the crime of the century and stuff like that. Okay, so in this last clip, Gru says they're saying it's the crime of the century. Apparently, it's a big deal. People are calling it the crime of the century and stuff like that. Now, if somebody says something is the event of the century or event of the decade or event of the year, they're just saying it's the most important or biggest event of that time frame. So like for instance, some commercials will say this is the deal of the decade or the sale of the year. They're just trying to make it sound really, really important. Or you might hear the term person of the year, like teacher of the year or rookie of the year. They're just saying that person was the best of all that year. For instance, people will often win an award for rookie of the year or employee of the year or teacher of the year. So if you really want to emphasize how big and important something is or might be, for instance, you want to convince your friend to go to this cool concert, you could say, this is going to be the concert of the year or concert of the century. We have to go. We got to get tickets.
All right, so that's it. Um, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching Learn English with Pixar. Also leave a comment and tell me what movie you want me to feature next. You can also click on one of my videos over here and learn even more useful everyday American English phrases. Anyway, see you next time.